I, I agree with uh, Charlie Warzel, who wrote uh, about this today in the New York Times. I, I agree with what he said, because I have had the same experience, which is that one of the biggest lessons I've learned um, covering for radio and podcasts and CNN and all the media work that I've done in the past 35 years, what I have learned is that... <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know how to phrase it. I don't know how to word it. When you when you expose yourself to these daily information wars of the Trump era, you find that a meaningful percentage, not a majority, but a meaningful percentage of Americans live in a reality that you and I don't live in. And that reality is powered by a completely separate universe of news and information. Charlie Wurzel writes that for three nights in a shameless display of loyalty to President Trump, the Republican Party has conjured up what Frank Bruni described as an upside-down vision of the world. Theirs is a universe in which the coronavirus pandemic is largely in the rearview mirror. And where, according to Matt Gates, radical Democrats are going to, you know, what did I say? Disarm you into the prisons, uh, murder your children, rape your husband, kill your wife. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. It's a universe where the existential dangers of climate change either don't exist or pale in comparison to the dangers of what they have labeled the cancel culture. Don't you like that term? The cancel culture. That was the idea that it's best to everybody quarantine, everybody stay home, close the bars and, and, and the sports venues and, and close the, uh, close everything except those, um, stores and shops that are essential to day to day life. But close everything down. Theaters, all of it, public transportation, airlines. We have to get the pandemic under control. <laughs> That's called the cancel culture to these right wing Christian Caucasian neo fascists that now comprise a fairly big percentage of the American population and all of the Republican Party. So all of that is being told that cancel culture is the one thing that we should really be concerned about. Even as the, the Western part of the country, and I mentioned this earlier, is being ravaged by blackouts and wildfires, and the Gulf Coast is slammed by a devastating hurricane. But none of that, I, I mean, it doesn't exist to these people. None of that exists. And another writer at, at the uh, Times, Jamel, uh, Jamel Bowie, this week described some of what we're seeing as what Bowie calls, quote, the Fox Newsification of the Republican Party or of the Republicans by a president who rose to political power via the cable news channel and who exists in a codependent relationship with the network. Talking about Fox the Fox Newsification of the Republican Party. You know, the question that, that I've had for a very, very long time is why? Why do so many white Christian males and females willingly accept this craziness, the, 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 the conspiracy theories, the, the, this whole thing that QAnon says the world is run, at least the United States part of it, by a group of pedophiles who hide in the basement of a pizza, pizza parlor. I mean, what kind of crazy shit is this? 
How do people get to that level? I tried to get through that last night with that lengthy essay that um, I deconstructed, trying to understand what is it that makes people give up their ability to, to look at a situation from a rational standpoint, to look at a situation and use fact and science and reality and truth to come to a conclusion as to what the situation they're looking at represents and how to relate to it. What has happened? That's what I can't figure out. I've yet to hear. I'm sure eventually there'll be a book written about the answer to that question. How did so many millions of Americans lose touch completely? Not touch. Lose their, their grip on reality. It can't just be the fox sewer, although that's a big part of it. But, but, but it can't be. They have maybe three, four million viewers a night. There are 330 million of us. <laughs> there are more people who believe this alternate reality shit than, than would watch Fox News in a year. Where is this coming from? The, the Internet? Facebook, Twitter, is that it? Anyway, the, the, the comparison, the idea of the Fox Newsification of the Republicans um, by a president, president who got his power via Fox is, is a fair idea because the Fox sewer has been extremely successful in creating and selling an alternate reality to its viewers every night for well over a decade. It's there, it, it's there all the time. And in the afternoon, I might add, too. And as the Times reports, or as Charlie Wurzel writes, the trick is to evoke two dueling emotions, fear and devotion. One conspiracy theory at a time. And the Fox Sewer has mastered this, and so has the Republican National Committee. That's why the convention the other night paraded out those two psychos from St. Louis, the McCloskeys. Oh, my God. Patricia McCloskey, one half of that St. Louis couple who went viral because they brought their guns out, a handgun, and an assault rifle because Black Lives Matter protesters were walking in the street past their house. And her message, and, and this, this, this is what Wurzel's talking about, her message was designed to provoke feelings of victimhood, poor me, poor white me, and racial fear. That's why I got my gun. But McCluskey, and I quoted this for you the other night, this crazy Patricia McCluskey, and, and I swear to God, if, if, this, if this woman's not insane, there is no insanity anywhere. But she said, quote, what you saw happened to us. Happened to them. What happened to them? People walked by the front of their house. What you saw happen to us could just as easily happen to any of you who are watching from quiet neighborhoods around our country. Make no mistake, this psycho bitch went on. No matter where you live, your family will not be safe in the radical Democrats' America, end quote. Now, that's a crazy woman. That is a woman who not only is sick in the head, but is a carrier of mental disorder. Dear God, what you saw happen to us, what the hell is she talking about? Nobody got on her precious-ass property or approached her big-ass mansion. Nobody shouted anything at her or her bloated husband. Nobody said a goddamn word. They just walked past. Oh. 
So anyway, that threat is far more potent, Charlie writes, when it's paired with a second alternate reality. And that is that Donald Trump is the one and only competent protector, the so-called bodyguard of Western civilization. That's the way the Republican National Committee speaker Charlie Kirk put it on Monday evening, the bodyguard of Western civilization. Western civilization. What the f- hell? I mean... But having, having read about all these alternate realities... I worry about any particular certain outcome. It's hard to see things clearly or make predictions, Charlie writes, in such a fractured information ecosystem. And as Thomas Edsel said, and I believe I quoted him yesterday, we'll be stuck here for a while because Trump's rhetorical strategy will have long-term consequences for the Republican Party. Hey, True Seekers, while we're practicing safe social distancing, it's a great time to treat yourself with some seriously delicious, responsibly sourced coffee. Awaken to pleasure with River Moon Coffee. But don't take my word for it. Here are two recent reviews. Quote, we sell River Moon Coffee at Marine General Store, and I can't seem to keep up with customer demand. Not only is the coffee excellent, but the philosophy behind it, the careful sourcing and constant research to bring a quality product to customers, appeals to the hearts of our community. End quote. And here's one from a fellow Malloy listener. Quote, I love, love, love this coffee. I buy it in five-pound bags. I especially love the Truth Seeker blend. End quote. Sounds like they're planning ahead for the apocalypse. Anyway, support a progressive small business that supports this program. Go to MikeMalloy.com and click on the River Moon Coffee link on the main page. You'll thank me later.